what is your research telling you about the types of aerobic exercise that we're, we should be doing to yeah. enhance our memory and our creativity yeah. and the, the length of time we should be exercising. Yeah. yeah, those are critical questions. And in fact, my lab is just starting to compare different kinds of aerobic exercise. Uh, we have a study going on in the lab comparing high intensity interval training with continuous aerobic exercise. We have another study uh, looking at spin classes. And it's going to be a while before we can categorize and, and everybody wants me to study their favorite you know, exercise. Um, and uh, what I can say from the literature is that there's good evidence that aerobic exercise lots of different ways people have studied aerobic exercise but basically you have to get your heart rate up and that is helpful for a, a range of different cognitive functions um, resistance training for example a little bit of evidence that it might be helpful but not nearly as much as aerobic activity and um, in terms of how long that's a really hard one because all the different studies that have been done have used different age groups, different kinds of activity, and it's very difficult to come up with a, a general statement. And the other message that I have from the book, uh, which is a critical one, you also do not have to become a triathlete, okay? So it's somewhere in the middle there, but what I'm trying to get at is kind of the minimum amount of exercise, because that's what everybody's interested in. What is the minimum amount that I have to do to get these brain changes? So it's gonna be somewhere in the middle there. How long will the research take? When do you expect to actually have some data around this? Yeah, so um, our, first big finding should be done um, by the end of the year. And so we're really excited to get those out. And we're looking at both, uh, at two different aspects. What happens when you increase your exercise for a long term? So you go from low fit, not exercising, or exercising 30 minutes or less a week, to three times a week aerobic exercise. What does that do? But we're also interested in what's the effect of just going to the gym for an hour? What is that doing immediately for your cognition? And we have findings that hopefully will be published very soon showing that um, just one hour of cycling on, um, on an exercise bike can significantly improve your attention abilities, your ability to shift and focus attention for at least uh, for lasting up to uh, two hours after the workout. So, um, so hopefully in the next few years, we'll be able to answer the key questions.